Okay. Now you mentioned uh, the importance of page one, and, and um, obviously we've seen your passion on that. Once you're on page one, what else should we need to consider? What's important? I, I, I mean, obviously one of the major factors, one of the things we need to be doing is making sure we stay on page one. Yeah. So, so what, what do we need to consider? We're on page one. What else do we need to do? You know, um, this, this applies with your website. Google Matt Cuts, who's... Um saying that you know you, you really need to be creating websites for the visitors right yeah. not for google so if you just concentrate on creating an amazing website with great content for your patients with a blog and you're putting the articles there and you're creating good content and you're growing the content and then you you're placing the, those articles on social media on facebook yeah. on twitter and that activity is going on and you have the feeds on your home page the blog feed the facebook feed the twitter feed yeah that's what Google loves. Yeah. And that's what, that's what we really must be doing because yeah. we need to show Google that we've got a big website. So create a big website, you know, 30, 50 pages. And if you have a 30 page website, easiest way to do that is um, individual pages for each treatment. That covers right. about 20, 25 pages, okay? Right. Um, and then once you've done that, then you really, and putting testimonials, unique testimonials on those treatment pages, gives you the unique content, right. the unique treatment content. So sometimes dentists will say, okay, well, how do we create a unique content, you know? How do we create unique content? Testimonials. Testimonials. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's free, free yeah. copy, you know? So just yeah. get, uh, get, get the testimonials from your patients and put it there, yes. right? Now Google sees a really massive website. Now this massive website has keyword tagging. Now what's really important is to, to grow this massive website. So growing this massive website using your blog by putting articles on a weekly basis, if not daily, mm. by your SEO copywriter, mm -hmm. about treatments and testimonials and putting it on there and just keep doing that consistently. Right. Now you're growing your website. Right. So we talked about link building before, right? Today, the new form of link building is just put those articles on Facebook and Twitter and link back to your blog. Right. So get Facebook and Twitter to link right. to your website, right. to your blog, right. and get your blog to link to the main pages. You know, right. It's all about just creating this activity. Yeah. And once you've created this activity, then you're creating yourself as the authority. Yeah. The key word there is authority, isn't it? It is. It yeah. is, yeah. That's Tell me a bit more about authority. Okay, so crucially now in 2013, the last you know, three months or so, Google has made it very clear that Google wants you to show yourself as the authority um, not just for, for the business website, but the people behind the business. So you might have heard of Google Plus, right? Mm. Google Plus profiles, Google's social media. Mm. Well, Google wants to know who is behind the business. Mm. So it's really important. When you see the Google rankings, something, sometimes you might see a, a little face next to the rankings. A little, a little face, and, and that's what you must have. You must have your face. You, if you're the principal of the practice, you must have your face next to your Google ranking. And that's by creating a Google Plus profile for the right. individual. And the blogs that you write, they must be published by, right. by that, um, that face Person. that appears. It's Google activity ranking. again, isn't it? It's activity. It's yeah. activity, but it's linking all, its, all of it together. There's, there's a whole infrastructure that you must yes. create. In fact, um, and your social media, right? Um, we, get, we get asked time and time again, do, do we need social media? Today, you must have social media. Not for social media marketing, you must have social media for Google rankings. Mm. And that's what Google's made clear this year. Mm. Okay, and the other thing about it is, as well, I, I, I'm not quite sure the statistic, but maybe you, you might know better than me, but is it something like 70, 80% yep. of people in the United Kingdom now yeah. I'm on Facebook for about 30 minutes per day. Yeah, I think so. I think yeah. you're right, yeah. And, and if you're not on Facebook or not doing social media, again, you're eliminating that audience who yeah. you could be interacting with. I believe 50% of the traffic that comes to your website, 50% of the visitors who come to your website are already logged into Facebook. Right. And that's Amazing. why it's so important to have your Facebook uh, infrastructure in yeah. place. Because people want to get back to Facebook. Yeah. You know, if you're already logged into Facebook, that's where all the fun is. Yeah. Surfing the web for the last three years has been work. 
Yeah. Right? It's, it's just been work. So if someone tell, tells you to check out a website, it's, it's work. So your mindset is, OK, I'm doing work. I'm checking out a website. But really, subliminally, I want to get back to Facebook. So if there's a Facebook icon, there's a Facebook page, if there's a way to get back to Facebook, I want to get back to Facebook. Mm. And the sooner you understand that, mm. the sooner you can take advantage of all that and mm. interlink it so well that, that you've got to stand yeah. in an exhibition on Facebook world because it's a different yeah. planet. Yeah. You mentioned um, a couple of things already, and I just want to um, bring them up again and, and re-emphasize them. Um, so tell us a bit about Google or Organic, Google Maps, Google Places, and Google sure, Plus. Sure. So Google Page One, it can be split, and I'd like to split it now into just two parts. It's evolved uh, continuously over the last decade. Um, I'd say there's a pay-per-click, and then there's organic. And organic mm. consists of um, natural rankings, the maps, the map listings, and it's how Google wants to present you. And the best, for example, in um, Northern Ireland, Belfast, David, David Nelson, a very good client of ours and a good friend, he ranks, when he ranks with dental implants Belfast, he ranks with his, with his photograph, which is because he's got a Google Plus profile account, and he's got stars next to his name, and, he, and, he, and he's got triple rank, he's got triple rankings. He's, got, he's on the pay-per-click for dental implants Belfast right at the top. So he pays for that number one position. Yeah. You can't beat him because he's going to pay for that. Yeah. Right? And, and then he's on the maps. And then he's also, he's got a second, second, because dental, he's got a dental implants microsite. We created, I told you it was about creating big websites. Mm -hmm. So we created an additional 15 pages or so for him just on dental implants. So it's cosmetic dentistry, Belfast, Dakota, UK, forward slash dental implants. And that's his microsite. Mm. So he's got about 15 pages dedicated to dental implants. Mm. And so he's getting, getting that natural third mm. ranking again. Mm. Um, depends on your location and how competitive it is. But for that, you know, dominating Google domination, that's what it's about. Mm. Who's your ideal patient? What do you, what's the treatment you want to you know, do? What do you love to do? Dental implants? Well, dominate, dominate Google.